Uh, well, this is standard, uh, doesn't evolution violate the second law of thermodynamics? No, of course it doesn't because if you have input into a system of energy, such as the sun, then you get a reversal of entropy. That is, you get energy input, you get an increase in complexity and so forth as long as the energy keeps coming in. Once the energy dissipates, then the, you get an increase in entropy. So then, okay, but what about the whole universe? And then we're going to end up back at these kind of ultimate questions. Well, then where did the universe come from? And where did the energy that created the Big Bang come from? And so on and so forth. And then we're back into questions that are sort of only quasi-scientific or kind of metaphysical, uh, which we can speculate on, but that isn't really a part of science. We, with science, have to work on what we have. The second law of thermodynamics, I'm amazed anybody ever brings that up anymore. That's just kind of a, a non-issue a non for, for us anymore. Okay, I disagree strongly. I think the second law is a very valid argument against evolution. The second law tells us basically everything's falling apart, okay? The Bible teaches that clearly. Everything is waxing old like a garment. Here, uh, here's Sue at 20. Here she is at 90. Here she is at 3,000, okay? Uh, now, the evolutionists will say you can overcome the second law by adding energy. This is ludicrous. Uh, you, adding energy is destructive unless there's something to utilize the energy. The Japanese added a whole bunch of energy to Pearl Harbor one day. They didn't organize anything, okay? We returned the favor a few years later and added energy to a couple of their cities and didn't organize a thing for them. Adding energy is destructive unless there's something to use the energy. It's true the sun adds energy to the earth, but it's going to destroy the roof on your house, not build it. The sun's energy is going to destroy your entire house. It's going to destroy the upholstery on your car. It's going to destroy the roof on your car. It's going to destroy the paint job on your car. There's only one thing that can use the sun's energy. By the way, the moon gets the same energy we do. Okay, it doesn't make anything up there. The sun's energy is added to the earth, and, and chlorophyll is able to capture it and use it. So it's a silly argument to say, all you got to do is add energy, and that'll fix it. That is simply silly, not true. Okay.